It's a shark. What? No way. It's just a dolphin. They are completely harmless and don't even breed the same as sharks because they are mammals. However, they do have a dorsal fin that mimics the look of a shark, so I can see how it can get mixed up. Hello, everyone. My name is Shelby, and I'll be your instructor on dolphins today. We will discover a dolphin's intelligence, their human interaction, as well as their predators. First, I need everyone to put on a life vest. Perfect. Let's dive right into a dolphin's intelligence. Now that we're all in the water and buckled into our life vest, the dolphins will show off their stuff. They communicate with each other with whistles. They have different pitched whistles for different emotions. Due to their exceptional paralympic system, they are able to process these emotions. It is believed that each dolphin comes up with their own signature whistle, kind of like their own names. According to National Geographic, um, dolphins will use special whistles called burst pulses to scare away predators. They will often use these when protecting a member of their pod that is injured. Echolocation is very important in understanding a dolphin's anatomy. This allows dolphins to send out clicks that will then send out sound waves that will bounce off of objects in the distance, sending the sound waves back. This allows the dolphins to know what kind of object is out in the distance without being actually being able to see it. Another important thing in understanding a dolphin's anatomy is that their eyes work independently and their breathing is controlled. Their breathing has to be controlled because since they don't have gills, they have to know when to come back to the surface to breathe. Dolphins can hold their breath for no longer than 15 minutes. They are also very smart while, while collecting food as well. Sometimes they will grab a sponge from the ocean floor and use it on their nose to protect it while searching for food. They also use it speed and a herding technique to round the fish up in one area so that it is easier for them to catch. Dolphins are one of the smartest animals in the world. Now, I'll be helping our friends demonstrate their human interaction. Dolphins don't speak English, so we have to use hand signals and gestures to communicate with them. They pick up on hand signals pretty quickly and can do numerous things off of just a couple of hand signals. Relationships between dolphins and humans have been around for a very long time. It used to be a belief that dolphins were a connection between the gods and humans. Trainers also have a very close relationship with the humans or with the dolphins they are training. However, dolphins aren't just kept in captivity for shows. The US military uses dolphins sometimes for rescue efforts and to locate underwater mines. They're kind of like an underwater search dog. They can also be used in therapy to help, dis to help treat people who are disabled or have a mental illness. Relationships with dolphins don't just occur in, the in, in captivity either. They also occur in the wild. There have been stories of dolphins that have round up fish for fishermen and shown them where to place the net to collect the most fish. There has also been stories of dolphins that have rescued boaters and fishermen that are lost at sea or that are in trouble. Dolphins aren't always so nice to humans, however. Um, they are only usually aggressive when they feel that they are in danger. At SeaWorld, a dolphin was involved in three accidents where it killed three of its trainers. But SeaWorld is known for being pretty abusive to their animals. In Brazil, a man was killed by a dolphin, but it had been believed that the dolphin had been harassed by humans in the past. We are halfway through our journey with the dolphins. Remember, be nice to dolphins and they'll be nice to you. Now we will look at the animals that aren't so nice to dolphins, they're predators. Unfortunately, we are nearing the end of our time with the dolphins. We will be looking at the most important point now, their predators. Dolphins don't have as many predators as you might think, and don't worry about being eaten. Their predators include killer whales and some larger sharks, but dolphins have been known to 
uh, catch prey with the um, predator, the killer whale. Dolphins aren't helpless animals and they put up a fight. They are very much able to kill a shark on their own without any problem. The biggest predator to a dolphin, however, is man. Pollution, boat traffic, habitat destruction, overfishing, and direct takes are examples of how humans are harming dolphins. Overfishing for tuna results in dolphins getting captured and then killed since they swim above tuna. And other fishermen just kill dolphins because they think they will ruin their catch. Another issue with overfishing is that dolphins, or that there are no fish left in some areas. So in places like Peru and Japan, they have resorted to killing the dolphins and eating them. Time to say goodbye to our friends. Um, now I'll be taking everyone up to return your life vests. Thank you to everyone who came out to experience these, these animals in real life today. Let's recap on everything we learned. We learned about a dolphin's intelligence, their human interaction, as well as their predators. Oh, and don't forget to leave your life vests on the counter. I hope everyone enjoyed their dolphin encounter today.